No. <laughs> no. Welcome no. back. Because one of them was like, I'm farting, and I'm not really farting. You were. What? What? That was not a real fart. Anytime you pause, it's safe to assume that you're farting. That you're leaning? You know, oh, the old man lean? Sometimes my cheeks Are you so conscious about apart. your farts? Why is that an old man lean? Because my dad used to do it. I never had to do it until I got old. Is that because you're... Your the weight of your body is. It could be maybe because I'm fatter. Holding your anus closed. Could be. So you, you know what's interesting? When you don't lean, and you fart, it you can you can sense the bubble. No, the bubble. What? You know sense what the bubble. The bubble. The bubble is in your clothes, and it's in there for a while because there's no lean, and then it works its way up the back, so and then eventually what? gets out the back of the pants. And you feel it work up your butt crack? Yes. Yes. Oh. Exactly right. A little, and that's why older people are like, I don't want that sensation. I'm gonna go ahead and lean. Good. Yeah. See the difference? You don't. You don't want the fart bubble sensation. The fart bubble sensation. Right. It tickles too. Yeah. Yeah. So, sometimes when your butthole kind of vibrates really fast, <laughs> it's a high pitched one. Right. <laughs> and Is so we're opening at? the second half with fart <laughs> bubbles. Oh, you did? I did. No, I didn't. I didn't call it that. You're talking you about fart bubbles. I have no idea what this is, but just hit play. No, don't. No, this Please is stupid. Don't. It's so stupid. We're yes. drinking Wolcott. Yeah, let's talk Bottled about bottled and the... bond <sighs> Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey, hundred proof. How do we know it's hundred proof? Because it's bottled and bond. Bottled and, bottled and, bond. and bond, baby. All right. So, uh, I don't think we know anything about this bourbon. Let me get that to the comes uh, in a clear producer. bottle. It's, so we can pull it up. It's got a yeah. cork. So, yeah, look that up while we're talking um, about it. It looks like it's a number two char. Number two, three two char. Three. Two or three. Yeah. I think it's three. Yeah. I nice. wonder how aged it is. Usually, if it's not real dark, it hasn't been yeah, aged. How, how old is that over there, Mr. Producer? I'm going to go with four years. No. I think I think in two. Oh, you can't. No, you can't age anything two years and yeah, be respectable. Yeah, and can. be respectable. Well, they had that. Oh. They had that Austin's uh, two-year uh, yeah, bourbon still we Austin. sampled. Oh, you weren't there. Um, oh, that's right. Yeah, we sampled it. Oh. Uh, yeah. Someone had to bowl. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll be. I'll with be their, bowling. You, you know what? You visited a distillery. With their I have my own on Saturday. Bowl. Yeah, down in Austin. Are you serious? Down in Who Austin. says that? What? I've got my own bowling ball. I do, and I'm awesome. Do you see the footage where the guys are like polishing their balls, their bowling balls, but it looks like they're polishing their like sacks? I think you're supposed to do that. I do that every yeah, but time. Like, I don't really it, know why I do that. You hold it right in front of your crotch? Well, I think you don't put it above your head. It's kind of heavy. No, is there well, you're a, supposed to hold it straight out, straight arm. A, no, that uh, would hurt my shoulders. Is there well, polishing gel show you that man. you put on there? To, so that's what I do. I take out? it out of my bag in my little sling, and I walk over to the place where you put your balls, and you go... <laughs> What color are your balls? Or your ball? Your, your uh, ball? It's it's a very cool psychedelic black and red. Ah, so black and white, red swirl. So it's it a is black and red swirl. And you know what I did? I've always been a straight bowler, and I got super frustrated on Saturday, right? And so I was like, uh, Did you this... call your ball a, a f- offensive? Word? I didn't. I didn't. I didn't turn on my ball. I was. Did like, you say ball? My, my you, ball and I are are a you team. maroon. No, I didn't. Um, I said, oh, the ball red. and I are a team. Let's try something different. Yes. <laughs> yes. He showed me a video of people uh, slinging their balls. Oh. Yes. So you just add yes. the... Uh... Yes. Thank you. That's Thank what you do, right? Thanks. Yes, Thanks, I Jeff. do. Just I don't, like I don't do it for an extended period of time like they're doing. <laughs> yeah, but do you have that, that, of that course, cloth it comes sack with the that ball. does that? It comes with the ball, yes. Wait, seriously, that bag? Yes. Do, yes. You, do you stand like that? Is that what it's I, for? Is it for polishing the ball? I Yes. It's so get, that's what you look like. Get the I fuck don't look like that. You and Alan I look doing cool. that. I look cool. I don't look like that. Anyway, can I finish my story? That's what you for. So I got frustrated straight bowling, and I switched to spinning for the first time. You know how they do the, oh. the bowlers do the and it's on the edge. I've always And at the spin. last minute it, it goes to the middle and right. I killed it. Oh. I had a do you turkey. Like Earl I had Anthony? a turkey at one point during the game. Three strikes. Nice. Do you, you have the Earl and I got the I had brace? kick out your no, left I foot? I didn't buy a brace. But I got one sixty eight, which is not bad for me. One sixty eight is not bad for anybody. I know that's pretty good. And I that was the first time I ever spun the ball before. Yeah, the yeah. highest I've gotten is probably around the one thirties. 
That's not, I'm not good. very good. I'm not very good. Well, no. That's horrible. I, I got up to about but 200, you know what? 190, Lead 200. teams need people like you because when you bowl 130, there's a handicap, right? And then what they, and then if I'm you. I'm not saying I'm consistently 130. Well, but here's the thing. When you bowl 150, you, it's like it destroys the other team, right? Now, if you suck and get 90, yeah, everybody hates I've done that too. Everybody hates on you. But if you have a really low average, and then you have some games where you kill it, they they want you on. Are the you team. on a league? I'm not. Uh, Dylan is my son. My parents were in a league for years what, and years and years. He has bowled over 200 multiple times. I'm very impressed. I, I never you know, could do you, that. You got to be in. Sh- I, 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 I don't want to say in shape, but you need to be in shape. Oh, I was so you sore the next day. I'm not well, saying well, you, you have to like have, throw down barbells, well, but you, you, no, you have to the muscles that you use to oh my God. twist it. You have to be able to do that. Yes. Ah. Well, no, no, if, just bowling in general. Well, because yeah. straight bowling or spinning it or whatever, I bowled Friday and Saturday, and on Sunday I was hurting. Yeah. Wow. I was like an old man getting off the couch, you know. Yeah, yeah I remember that. Oh, oh my god. Uh, I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, it was exciting. I'm excited. I want to bowl again because I have my own ball, <laughs> and I can spin it. <laughs> so I like the ball. I'm just not very ball? good at it. Did you name it? Black Knight Merle. I- I did. Shit, I forgot the name of it. Shelly made fun of me. Leroy? No, it's a girl. Leonette? No. Leroyette? Can we stop guessing? Because I don't know. Linda? No. Rosita? Okay. This Carmelita? Is, this is the worst podcast ever. <laughs> What'd you guys do? Oh, for an hour and a half, we guessed Paul's <laughs> bowling ball. Hello, my ball <laughs> is uh, black and red, and uh, my name is Juanita, and I'm here to, to bowl. I'm gonna have to ask my wife. She she rolled her eyes when I Zorro. when I told her what the name is. She was like, "Oh my god!" Just like I bet that. you called it. Was it racist? I bet you called it Derek. No, Henry. it was something something hot. No, it was a girl. Called I didn't call it Derek Henry. Diane, oh. Diane How many girls Henry. do you know are called Derek Henry? Diane Henry. Oh, that would have been good. But you called it Ryan Tannehill. <laughs> <laughs> Ryanna. Ryan. Ryanna Tannehill. Would you stop? She call it AOC. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I did. Did I, you see the footage of her dancing? She is the best. Which one? We're dancing on the uh, rooftop? There's another one. Okay, where please she's show doing that AOC dancing. I need to see the video. Yeah, of this. but this isn't that an older video. So I no, no. So recently. she just this weekend was at a campaign rally where again didn't have masks on. Right. Uh, but they're on the stage. I guess it's safe. Dude, I don't give a shit. I I, I think she's hot. I don't at all. Oh come on. No. Not at all. She's hot. No, she's really not. She's got a nice set of jugs. No, you're an idiot. She's uh, a one, two, fourth one in. Uh, yes, show that one. This, uh, they're on is that stage. the newest one? Yeah, yeah, they're on stage dancing. And Is she doing the shoulder shimmy where those, uh, I don't know. those 34 Cs are just flocking and fr- just flocking? Oh, they're just, just all over the place. I don't know what you're saying or doing, but you're, what's happening? Well, they're they're like, well, you can't see this AOC video unless okay, you pay here we us go. $10. So we're watching AOC. Oh, no. Oh, huh. no. Stop. What is this? This is like the uh, the the dance from uh, Dirty Dancing. Well, she, no, she's and trying to salsa or something. That's when she was in Texas. That's when she was in Texas. She was trying to salsa dance, I believe. Uh, no. Was that? That wasn't her. Yeah, that was In the pink, it was. Uh, girl, I didn't even the see the girl her. behind was, the girl. Yeah. Oh, great. You know what? Go one more over to the right. Pick no, nobody one. wants to see that. I don't care. Yeah. Ocasio Cortez dance. Oh, what happened? Yeah, it went away. Thank God. You know what? I don't care. I she's, think she's a dingbat, but you know what? I think. Uh, she's so I, I think, stupid. I, I think she's she's pretty. She's not. She's stupid. Dude, her, her voice and attitude ruin you're it. You're saying she's stupid. It has nothing to do with the way she looks. I know. Well, I'm not attracted to stupid women. Uh, would you kick her out of bed? Yes. Because <laughs> she would do that in the morning over where it says live. Yeah, she'd wake up oh, and she'd be she'd, crying. And all she right. would go, How can you sleep when the world is on fire? When oh, I, I would climate know because change she'd is killing us all and you don't face. drive, you drive a big truck that gas, guzzles gas. I can't be with you. I would take my private jet home. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's what you would deal with in the morning. Yes. I see, she would be crying because I'd glue her eyes shut. Do you have avocado toast? Yeah, after having a deep strike moment with her the night before, God. you wake up in the morning and she's like, I just don't feel like you value my feelings. A deep strike? You should have said, well, you said it during the deep strike. <laughs> what? What do you say? Deep, deep what? 
Is that what you call it? Deep strike? I don't favorite know what you're position? About. Yeah. Oh, it's like, position. you know what? Act like Saget and just assume the supine position. <laughs> supine. I'll be right there. Supine. Or prone. It's now called, no, the, supine. It's now called the Saget. The, the Saget? <laughs> the Saget. Sag it? Yeah. It's where, it's where Hulk picks you up and slams you on the ground. Hulk smash! And then throws you on the bed so that you're in the supine <laughs> position. Hulk the supine. smash. All right, that's insensitive. It is. How does soup? How did Saget? I don't know. Crack his head like that, and then they found him on the bed. Unless he was like, maybe he was doing backflips on the bed, and then smacked his head <laughs> on the headboard, and then fell. Wouldn't on the t- they find? Like I'm not. Blood. I'm not saying his head exploded, and they would find brain matter all over the room. But but wouldn't wouldn't they find where the, he hit his head? Where, yeah, exactly. Where I, he I hit guess. his head. Well, isn't that important? I would think. But they also said that there was no. Uh, foul play, nothing missing, nothing that looked like anything, no violence or anything. I mean, they could have cleaned well, maybe up. Maybe he just, maybe he was drunk and he slipped and hit his head, yeah. and then he managed to get himself up onto the bed in sup- supine. I mean, he position. could have done it somewhere else and made him made it back to the apartment. Yeah. And I guess so. Lay down. It's just, maybe, bizarre. Maybe. it's just bizarre. That's it all is I'm bizarre. saying. Yeah. Well, let the let the experts. They found a condom in his butt. And a, really. Whoa. That, that's what trampling, I heard. trampling all over a dead man's legacy. Dude, he was he was he was using the bed like a trampoline. No, and they were like, dude, you know, fuck that supine prone. No, no, <laughs> no. Anyway, gosh, that's so what vulgar. other positions are there? So the supine pro, there's missionary, there's the what do you call it? Uh, who deep what? strike? Deep strike. Deep that sounds strike. like some sort of. It's, I called it deep strike. It's actually deep impact. Oh. Deep impact <laughs> them from the movie, like the movie. No, oh. I don't believe you. I, I'm being serious. Operation Launch Deep Strike with the Penetrator, and Jeez. then there's Armageddon, with which is that's in what, prom- that's in what prom- Ben Affleck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so look, you guys are going to totally disagree with me, but uh, yeah, we uh, usually I know, do. and I'm sorry, but AOC, uh, she's not unattractive. I uh, get it, dude. I get it, but dude, she opens if her mouth, she were, and she's such a freaking buffoon. If she were buffoon, a Republican. And she actually talked with sense. Um, okay, do you think Candace Owens is pretty? Yes. And now, do you think she's pretty because she's articulate and and smart and bright and has I, I've conservative always values? told you that even though I think AOC says stupid shit, she's articulate. She has a she has great vocabulary. Uh, she's just an idiot. So here's the thing. Uh, so that would imply that everybody on the left or anybody that's a Democrat, I would say, I can't look past it. I think they're ugly. Tulsi Gabbard, I think, is a pretty woman. Oh, she's beautiful. So where does that stand? You're the one that's got the issue. I don't have an issue. Tulsi Gabbard's a very pretty woman. I don't find AOC attractive at all. I just think that you're well, right. you're, well, you're, you're got some brain damage. Well, somehow. you're going with personal taste too, right? Yeah. Although, although I think they're both similar, right? They have both have the dark hair, kind yeah. of kind of exotic looking. I like the AOC. The I like, I like the Latino look, right? Latino man. Yeah. Come on, man. <laughs> okay. I think we were good until Jeff, you kind of added something there. What was that there. little... No. I don't was, know. If we could go back and listen to <laughs> what... Slowpoke Rodriguez over here. <laughs> it was like... <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's move, let's move be, on. Be I don't bold. know how we got on AOC. We should never get on AOC. Well, well, she also said that democracy will be dead in 10 years. She's an idiot. Did she say that 10 years ago? You know, I take she it back. It like yesterday. Or the no, I don't take it back. You know how many stupid people have said the earth is going to end? The world is going to end? Well, the... the how many times the teenager? Oh, my God. Now? Who's a teenager? Shame on you or whatever that. Well, the idiot that tried to start his name? own. No, uh, the girl. Oh, the uh, uh, Greta Thunberg. Yeah. Yes, Greta Thunberg. You know, she's like, you know, you, you you're not going to leave me an Earth. It'll be dead in twelve years or whatever. It That's is. a sheer ignorance. But here's the thing: there's always Mars. I don't understand why they get all upset. Yeah. <laughs> Just live on the water. Yeah, there's always Mars. Well, I think they they found like uh, evidence of uh, either water or the potential for water. They did they find water. evidence of water. Oh, well, there you go. And the left uh, and the mainstream media just buried it. Yeah, and they I'm got g- total <laughs> total recall. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> well, they are burying a lot of stuff. Yeah, they're burying a lot. Good of stuff. Lord, man. Yeah, it's crazy. So, you know, it's uh, so it's 2022, and we are uh, it's uh, early voting has, has kicked off. We're halfway through February already. Yeah, Valentine's just passed. It did. Did you guys um, do anything? I did. I uh, did absolutely well, you, nothing. You went out to dinner on Saturday. We right? went to dinner Saturday. Yeah. Then of course it's, the Super Bowl was Sunday, and then then Valentine's was yesterday. It was. We ordered Chinese. It was a strange Monday. Yeah. 
my wife and I decided we we hate. I, I, I don't want to sound like a cliche, but we hate the commercialism of of Valentine's Day to where there's an an obligation to do this and that. We don't do anything on Valentine's Day. Do you know? I I don't know if this is true or not, but someone was talking about Paul's gay. If you really knew <laughs> who Saint Valentine was, he's a killer. It doesn't really match the holiday. He was a serial well, uh, he was, cannibal. He was beheaded for one thing. Oh, good lord! Yeah, yeah that's hold on. Is this? It's, that's a whole story. Is this germane to St. Well, Valentine's Day? There's a real St. Valentine's. And, uh, yeah, but is this germane to Valentine's Day? Well, that's who it's named after, right? I don't know. Yes, I mean, it's it the is. same name. Yeah, it was It was uh, so St. Valentine's. Um, the origin of St. Valentine's Day. That would be a wonderful thing to know. <laughs> it, it, and I also heard... Here you go, honey. Here's some hearts. I'm going to cut your head off. Yeah. And there was... there was. <laughs> God, I can't remember what radio show I was listening to. Speaking of head, get down here. There yeah. was an old, old... Prone. He's a poet or writer <laughs> who invented Valentine's Day. Uh, honey, how was your day at work? Prone. Uh, Assume the position. Supine. Prone. Supine. Prone. Supine. Supine. Deep impact. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah it's a, it, so the, it's on, a, we're it's looking at Christian uh, martyrs. It's a made-up holiday. Uh, so Valentine's honored February 14th, uh, our Valentine of Rome and oh, wow. Valentine of Attorney. Oh, two different Valentines. Valentine that of were Rome was a both priest martyred. and uh, was martyred in uh, 269. Wow. Talk about... De- a uh, long time ago. Yeah, jeez. You don't even know if these... Well, hold on. Go up. What I'm was getting that? Dizzy. Chaucer's... Chaucer's poetry, interesting. Uh, Celebration of Saint Valentine is not known to have had wow. any romantic connotations until Chaucer's poetry about Valentine's oh, Day in the 14th the, century. There's a, there's a poet some 700 poem. after the Lupercalia Chaucer. is believed to have ceased. Uh, there you go. So, so this was Chaucer, invented. some jackass, Jeffrey Chaucer, you decades, son of a bitch, millennials ago. Actually, he has no. In idea. the 1400s, so it was 1200 years after the guy died, and we're still dealing with having to buy flowers and chocolates because of this guy. Overpriced yeah. at that. Yeah, big time. It's amazing how much roses get I jacked up roses. in price. Of course, it is just amazing. I always buy the wilted ones the day after. Yeah, really. And I give like, them to my wife, and I'm like, "Hey, I got these on sale." Well, I'll tell you what, thanks to Joe Biden, uh, the uh, the stores were sold out of chocolate candies, like a Kroger. Because of Joe Biden? Empty. There was no supply? Uh, the, the, the supply line has been could, hindered. They're they sitting, have, on, they they're sitting on cargo ships off of San Francisco. Oh, yeah. They well, they're, they're gone M&Ms now. or Clark bars? What? Well, you I mean, got, not with, not with like the, the Valentine's toffee? Uh, the toffee bars. Yeah, like those Clark suck. bars or those suck. Hold on, hundred thousand dollar bar. Take toffee. It back. No toffee. See, that would mean more because you'd have to create your own oh assortment. Oh my god, to- toffee bars are fantastic. No, they're not. Yes. No, Score? they're not. Who, I disagree. Who hurts you? I'm yeah. not on board with any toffee chocolate. I love toffee. I make my own toffee. Do you? Yes. Okay. Well, yeah. then I I'm enjoy in a whole, toffee. I'm in a reserve and uh, I enjoy judgment Jeff's until toffee. I taste your until I taste your. Custom homemade Look at that. personal. There, there is yeah, a. It looks just like that. Okay, there is I'm, a, hold on. Uh, I'm into that. That's not toffee. That is toffee. That is toffee. Yeah, but that's a different kind of wagon. toffee. That's not commercial. What kind of toffee, toffee are you talking about? It's a different kind of toffee. Clark Bar is not a toffee. Exactly. Yeah, I'm not talking about it. That's I like real Clark milk bars. chocolate with real peanut butter crunch. That's a Clark Bar. Yeah, that, no, I like that's Clark not, Bars. That's a Clark Bar. It's not toffee. Exactly. I don't know why you guys brought that up. And you mentioned about toffee bars. No. Yes, you were. What are you talking about? Clark Bars are not toffee. And then the Mars bar, or the something Mars bars else. Are good too. I do like Mars Those bars. Those are not toffee either. Um, and then they came out with the dark Mars bar. Score is a oh. toffee bar. I tell you what really hurt the Mars bar was the fact that you know Saddam Hussein was found. To this as soon as they found Mars bars in his little uh, hole, they did the not stock find dropped. Mars bars in his hole. Yes, they did. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. It's a tr- it's a fact. Mars bars. Yeah, it's a fact. Saddam Hussein. They found Mars bars in his little. Uh, his little hole, spider cabinetry. hole, spider hole. That I, cannot I, be true. I that it was cannot just, be true. I thought it was just a packet of uh, butt wipes. But no, that he need, remember he didn't get them down in time. Oh, that's right. You know this? The, we talked about this before, but my favorite candy bar of all time that does not exist. That you get each each of you have to come up with the candy bar that does not exist anymore. So try survival food Saddam uh, lived on was the I, Mars bar. I was in the middle of saying something. So gosh, I don't know. Marathon bar. Uh, I like the marathon. They don't oh, exist yeah. anymore. Doesn't like exist anymore. Does the 100,000 bar 
still exists. Yes, of course. Yeah. Charleston Chew. 100, 100 grand, you mean? I like the Charles, yeah, Charleston Chew. Yeah. Oh, it still exists. That's or one of my favorites. Remember the commercials where they'd stretch it out? Yes, yeah. This is amazing. All right, what's a candy bar that doesn't exist anymore that was your favorite? A lot of huge candy eater. Um, yeah, you know it's kind of tough. But, uh, you know there there are how about how about some candies that we have tried that we liked? You Even know, as I mean, a kid, I was uh, how about those? Eater. What was it called really? Sugar Daddy, which is the big caramel on a stick? Yeah, they would stretch out. You have to suck oh, out of yeah. yeah, but you'd have you'd have to chew it out for a while. You got to be careful because you'll fucking pull a tooth out. You yeah, know? you would. Yes. Yeah, I the agree. Sugar Daddies. Are Bitto Honeys still around? Uh, uh, that's yes, another one. Yes, they do. How about Abba Zaba? Uh, I don't Bless know what it is. It's a coconut. Put in uh, put in discontinued in candy bars. That's what we need. Discontinued candy bars. Oh. Well, let's think. Um is the what you call it? They have around? so many. It's all what uh, worked out. Like there, there are some Marathon, boom. I'm horny. What? Jeff, go to the bathroom. Well, yeah, why do you keep sharing this stuff with us? That's not something you have to just <laughs> all, always <laughs> offer up. It's just Fred. I'm yeah. horny. Hey guys, I'm yeah, horny. You, you is that what? a real bar? It says I'm horny on it, doesn't it? Well, yes. It does. It says it's the top ten too. Yeah, I don't believe it. So Mars bars has been discontinued then. Do, do you know what uh, I do? I do enjoy uh, was you could buy the the bubble gum that it was like a bubble gum chew, which came in shredded, kind of like big you, chew. They still sell that, like your tobacco. Yeah, yeah, you big chew bubble gum. Or oh, they still sell that. Uh, God. Wrong that was great thing. though because you could pull it out and come with grape and strawberry and regular flavor. Yeah, right there. Yeah, the big leek chew. That's still around. Yeah, it's still around. It's, it's got to be. Yeah, it's overrated, but I like the grape. <laughs> grape is good. Grape was. My I didn't favorite. like either one of them. <laughs> well, you buy a whole bucket of. Ooh, look at a big bucket. Yeah. Did you guys ever do snuff? No. Well, like, I've tried it. It was, be it was very unsuccessful. Come on, be your nose? Or the or the shit you put in your the shit you put in your lips. No, no. no. Copenhagen. Yeah, I, I've tried Copenhagen uh, I tried, a few times. And I tried a skull. Very unsuccessful. I tried a skull and, bandit. No, and I felt like shit and had to lay down. I in never a super tried position. it. And I had some friends that did it for a long time, and then they tried to get off of it, and then they did the mint those little mint packets. Yeah, the skull bandits. Is the, that the, is that what skull bandits are? No, skull yeah. bandits are not mint. They that's, can be. That's tobacco. Because the one I had was tobacco. Yeah, and, no, and no, no like so, shit. well, it's just like cigarettes, right? Like when people get used to smoking, it's the the motion, what they call it, they call it infantile motion of sucking a teat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so <laughs> it's not it's not unlike uh snuff. <laughs> when they're like when people try to quit, they can't they still need to have something in their lip, they still need to be sucking from it, right? They use like a Werther's. Well, but there are packets, non tobacco, non nicotine packets. That are like mint that you can put in your lip and that helps you like Nicorette gum, you know, like it helps you. So is that hard argon? Hard, really? Is it helps you, you. It helps you beat the habit. It helps you beat the habit. I don't know. I don't. And have I, the habit, I never so. got addicted to well, any of that. Well, thankfully, so I've never thankful. had to deal with. That. I, I'll tell you, I have uh, very addictive. Unfortunately, I've, I've got a friend, and I'm not going to mention his name, but he's got a history of uh, of of doing uh, a fuck the tobacco in the mouth, whatever, put in your lip. Uh, yeah. Like the big, the reg, the leaves. Chew. Yeah. The well, I mean, not the big, whatever. Just fucking Copenhagen. Yeah. You know, and he he got cancer. Right. Yeah. His ears. His ear. I mean, it's like still he's fighting cancer right yeah, now. Yeah, he's fighting it. He he paid a lot of money to to have some correction done, and you know he's self employed and you so know they had to remove like his lower lip and all sorts of shit like that. No, has nothing to do with his mouth. It went up to his ear. What the hell? Yeah, it just uh, you know because your saliva glands go up and it's into it. It they they you know he's got an open wound on the side of his fucking head, like big, right? Yeah, it's what he, it's it, you know. Look, man, if that isn't cancer, uh, is uh, an evil, evil thing. Well, yeah, but there, that is a that's a public service announcement of 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 why never to do something like that for little yeah. kids. Show pictures of. Throat cancer, lip cancer. Oh, Lord. And you know what? Ear it's, cancer. It's a constant. Um, and, and this thing has been going on for for a decade. You know, He's been fighting it. He's been fighting it. And I, and I feel bad for I him. I feel bad for him, too. You I know? don't even know who it is. It's got to be a quality of life. It is. And, and, you know, he's such a, he's a good, and he's really a good person. And that that's the, you know, bad things happen to good people. And... It's all about our choices, man. I no. mean, we can't be doing. And stuff he still like does that. it. He still, he's like, "Fuck it." Oh come on. No, so he may be at the point. He's like, "I already fucking got it. 
Yeah. Yeah, but that's. Yeah, All right, so yeah, back to Saddam Hussein. The the, the, tri- the tri survival food Saddam lived on was was the Mars bar. So the, this week or then, uh, reached out to a Mars bar available <laughs> at finer candy counter, movie theater, supermarkets, vending machines, and sloppy rat infested hideouts for deposed Iraqi dictators. According to news reports, <laughs> in the weeks before <laughs> his capture, Saddam Hussein's diet consisted primarily of hot dogs. Room temperature lunch meat, soda, and candy bars. What kind of soda? When I U.S. Bet troops just entered shit his everywhere, when U.S. troops entered his two-room candy pig pen, lunch meat. they found dirty dishes in the sink, smelly clothes on the floor, unopened books, and two Mars bars on the shelf above the sink. So here's the thing: this is the irony. He goes from supreme dictator, Luxury. Oh, everything gold. Oh, he's got he's got like twenty palaces all over the place. Seven up. Probably harems. So the, the souls were selling. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So they, they found three quarters of a million, $750,000 in a box. Uh, this, you know, so there's $750,000 in the, in the box down there. And he, he had like salami, 7 Up, Franks, and candy bars, basically, when they went down there. He had salami? Salami. Oh, dude, room he's room li- temperature. He, he's living it up, though. Oh, he smells like a barnyard animal. Was it, it the just... salami with like the big hunks of pepper in there? Yeah, so... a big old oh. summer sausage. Especially summer room sausage. temperature. Yeah. Those are the best. Yeah. Oh, oh God. God, he did really well. The oh, oils. Can in you the imagine? Fats. You know what's funny? Hey, so come down here. He, he probably came out of that hole going, "Thank you." You know, just smell. thank you, thank you, because you know, kind of like Qaddafi. Qaddafi didn't get greeted by American soldiers. He was greeted by a mob that killed him. Right. But Saddam Hussein was greeted by U.S. soldiers, and they have a an integrity, and you know, you know, make sure you you're okay type of thing. Well, when he got handed over to the Iraqis, they freaking hung him, like you were saying at two at two a.m. But I don't mean Americans have like a code of conduct, right? So a lot of people are like, oh, thank God, you know, Americans are 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 arresting me, but at the same time, they know they're not going to be shot on sight, right? Yeah, is that a good thing or a bad thing? You know what? It's in the time of war. Is that I, a good I thing think or it, bad it thing? could it can go either way because you know the the biggest uh, like it, some of the the cliche movies we watch are like do not fire unless you're fired upon. Do I have permission to fire? Do not fire until you've been fired upon. You know, it's just like, dude, come on, let me take out this motherfucker. All right, we he we just watched him kill three children. Right, but I can't take him out. Right, mm. come on. Well, this, this, that goes back to the rules of engagement in Iraq. Right. So remember, Obama was like, multiple times, over and over and over again, they were not given the authority unless they have a gun in their hand. Or, or you know, what they would do is shoot up a bunch of, of American soldiers, and then they would throw the gun down and put their hands up, and then suddenly they were not allowed to do anything. Right. Right? And then Trump changed the rules of engagement. He said, <laughs> generals... On the ground, you you set the rules of engagement. You win this war. Right. And Al-Qaeda got their freaking asses kicked from that moment forward. And Obama struggled with him for a decade. Right. With them for a decade. For eight years. Yeah, ISIS went away. Went away Im- instantaneously when we changed the rules of engagement. Well, because our enemy knows if I'm standing there with yep. a, a woman in front of me, they're not yep. going to shoot me. Yep. Well, I mean, you, you shouldn't shoot the woman anyway. But No, but... You shoot around them and say, "You're dead." Right? Yeah. No, I mean, it, I don't it, care if you dropped your gun. And, and 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 here's but here's the thing: eliminating Al Qaeda in six months saved how many lives? Oh yeah. How well, many hundreds of thousands of lives, as opposed to Pussy Obama, who, <sighs> you know, rules of engagement. It has to go through ten chains of command on whether or not you can make the call on doing a predator strike. And, and by the time and by the, they yeah, okay it, they're, they're gone. They're, they're gone. gone. Right. Like I'm sorry. That's why when 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 Trump uh, shot that motherfucker and two of his colleagues in the the, the limousine leaving the airport. Amazing, Suleimani. Oh, dude, just ballsy. Ballsy mofo. I think Iran is still looking for I blood think, on that one. Oh, I yeah. Think it's oh, they're still wanting payback. And they're, and they're I think it's hilarious. Some they sort of, they did a comparison get... of Obama and Trump and uh, the way Trump talks and the way Obama, when, like when Saddam, oh, I've seen uh, that. Yeah. what is it called? Uh, what is his homeboy's name? The, the one that the SEALs went, still SEAL Team 6 went in and shot uh, Osama, Obama, Osama, Osama bin, Laden. bin Laden. Yeah. 
And, you know, he's like, oh, uh, you know, uh, SEAL Team 6 went in. And, you know, he's, he's speaking eloquently and everything. Right. And, and Trump's just like, yeah, we hunted him down like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> we shot him. Right. And he cried like a dog. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, but you know what? I think the, most of the people just relate to that. We're like, yeah, fuck yeah. I'm sorry. War is war. He's a terrorist. Yes. Right. He's a terrorist that kills women and children. He and would, indiscriminately kills well, well, innocent ISIS, people. Well, ISIS was incredibly violent. I mean, did really terribly, terrible things and, and would film sex, it. And, they, and they're taking sex slaves and they're and, I mean, brutalizing people. Yeah. I mean, they, no mercy. No mercy. And that's what Trump did. He's like, that's hey. what he did. And he eliminated them. Boom. Well, like in six months. Yeah, it was great. Greatness. Yeah. Well, and, and that's the thing I don't understand. Uh, if I were a Democrat, you know, regardless how you feel about Trump, how can you not appreciate right. what he's doing? The, you know, the results. And the, yeah, the end results. The Abraham did, you, Accords. You, and you all can't the, admit any good. It got to the point where you cannot admit any good no. the man did. Yeah. Even so though a he, lot of it was good. So he managed to engineer the first, air, like you said, the... Uh, the, the Abraham Accords. The Abraham Accords. So this was the Muslim countries recognizing Israel. Yeah. That is, that's never happened. I mean, that, that they said just that in itself, he should have gotten the, the Nobel Peace Prize. Wasn't At even least. nominated. Not, wasn't even nominated. Not even, Actually, it, that's not true. He was nominated. He was nominated multiple times by the true. same Swedish guy, some Swedish parliament member. But it didn't or go anywhere. Didn't go anywhere. Yeah, but Obama got it simply by the color of his skin. Oh, he, he got he, it before he went in the office. He got it by being president Black. elect. President elect, and he won the Nobel Peace Prize. Yeah, what a joke! Yeah, once and that, he was once even, that he happened, was even, he was even uh, kind of uh, like it made him uncomfortable. But he didn't turn it down, did he? No, I think at that point the Nobel Peace Prize became complete joke, a stupid joke. No, oh, didn't Greta Thunberg win it? Yes, she did. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, thank you. She's like 16. Right. Who's being spoon-fed everything she says Ooh, from her father. Uh, that's the first time I've tasted the bourbon. Yeah, it's, it's good. It's, it's peppery. It's, it is it's peppery. Spicy. It comes in very hot. Yeah. It does. It leaves uh, peppery. Um, uh, there's a little sweetness on there, a little caramel. Um, sweet up front. Definitely some pepper down the back. Oh, wow. Yeah. Down up. Down, what? Down the. Down, not. What do you say? Not supine, just not supine. supine. Supine, prone, prone, prone. Yes. prone. Mm. So, uh, mm. people are prone to talk about um, certain Whoa. things. Oh, is that a pun? Is, is that it? A, is face that a, down? An alliteration? So they were yeah. face down. Is so people are supine to talk about. You can opine, but can you supine? No, no. no. You went too far. You tried to be clever. It didn't work. Damn it. Yeah, it's okay. Well, speaking of okay, um, have you guys heard? How bad the uh, have you heard about a drought? In California's going through. California. Who? How bad is the Western drought? California's always in a fucking drought. Uh, it says it's the worst in twelve centuries. Oh, be quiet. I don't know about that. Yeah, well, you know the, that's some some liberal author trying to make climate change worse than it is. Yeah. Go, but go ahead, read it for me. California's uh, always in a drought. The, the mega drought in the American Southwest has become so severe that it's now the driest two decades in the region in at least twelve thousand uh, twelve hundred years. Scientists said Monday. How do they know this? Does that include Arizona? Because my dad lives in Tucson and said they have. Well, so, it's the region. They've had so, so much rain that um, they he he can't believe it. So the drought, which right. began in 2000, has had uh, reduced water supplies, devastated farmers and ranchers, helpful, helped fuel fire, wildfires across the region. Uh, previously been considered the worst in 500 years, according to these researchers. So what is the uh, here region? We, go. we have, we have the, uh, uh, the drought map is up. Thank you, Mr. Producer. All right, so that looks like Arizona. Is yellow, right? Yeah, yellow. abnormally dry. Abnormally is, dry. Is not... What year? Is the well, lowest. What year is this? Released February tenth. Okay, so this is very recent. Yeah, and this this is actually the the article I'm reading is from February fourteen yesterday. All right, so uh, what so is four the, days newer? Here's <laughs> exceptional drought. All right, look at exceptional drought D four. So that's in the middle of Nevada, All where right. Death Valley is, right? All right, so I see Oregon. Yeah. I see Oregon under exceptional drought. I see Utah, a middle, uh, not quite central, like south, 
No, what that's is that? Montana. Southeast? That's Montana, isn't it? No, no, no. Utah, southeast Utah has got a section of exceptional drought. And then, yes, way up there, what, are we, what is that, Montana? Yeah. Is that Wyoming, Montana? Then you have Nevada. Idaho? Oh, that's just north of. So that is a Wyoming. No, that's Montana up there. The top? Yeah, so Idaho is just to the west of that drought. And then that is so. What do you say? You, Montana you, is you, is a is a square state. Are we saying this is hot? Why wash? can't I see the lines? It's hard to see. Well, the lines. one side kind of goes like this because Idaho is really skinny at the top. Remember? Oh, there you go. Yeah. All right. Where is Montana? Montana is it's all that red essentially. Yeah. Well, okay. I mean, I wonder what the temperature is. Is is it dry because it's all frozen up there? I don't remember Montana having a little like leg sticking out to yes, the left. It does because Idaho That's is called skinny. A, it's called a nipple. It's called a peninsula. It's got a, a nipple. I had no idea Montana had a nipple. I thought it was a square state. I must be totally wrong there. It's called the Montana Archipelago. Is it really? I thought it has to be surrounded by water. <laughs> no, you're absolutely right. It has a nipple. All right, so if you see look, that's that's Joe Biden's face. Yeah, I was just gonna say that. <laughs> if you if you look at Montana, you see Joe Biden. It looks like he's about to sniff somebody's hair. <laughs> okay. All right. So okay. So to explain to our listeners, <laughs> Montana has a nipple that hangs down. Into that, Idaho. No, that's his nose. That is Joe Biden's nose. <laughs> it's so sniffing bad. Idaho. I love that. So yeah. Wyoming is the state that is completely. He, technically, square. He's, he's he's sniffing boys. Okay, so severe droughts in Montana, Oregon, uh, Nevada, not Utah. Nevada is what I was thinking. Correct, Nevada. I'm sorry. Go back to the drought uh, map, if you wouldn't mind. All right. So we got Montana. We have Oregon. We have uh, Nevada. And then where else? So what is that? That is... Uh, then, then, then the panhandle of Texas and the panhandle no of Oklahoma. So that is Oklahoma. Yeah. No, it isn't. It's it Arizona. Is. No. Well, part of it's in Arizona. No, that's New Mexico. That's what I meant. New Mexico. So part of it's in the very top corner of New Mexico, and then you got the panhandle of Oklahoma. All right. Well, the point is, is there's they're, they're saying it's the I driest... Think, I think that's false. It is false. You think they're just is, trying to scare this people? This is normal. Yes. This is normal. This is normal. Cole said the, the study also confirms the role of temperatures more than the precip- precipitation in driving exceptional droughts. Precipitation amounts can go up and down over time and can <laughs> vary <Really>? regionally. <laughs> it can? Really? It can vary? Oh, wow. You know, I'm not even going to. This is retarded. Yeah. Well, you brought it up. Well, remember, you know I, well, hold you're, on. You're an alarmist. Remember, these people just, have have a narrative. They have an agenda. So you cannot trust. And I hate to say it, but now nowadays you cannot trust scientific quote scientific. But people are going to read. People will read that without doing what we just did and go, yep. "Oh, look at this! Oh, they're in the worst drought." My God, yeah, the, the world's coming to an end. AOC's yeah. right. Yeah, Arizona's going <laughs> to like just be a desert. Well, AOC well, just said something else that was stupid. <sighs> But she's so hot when she says it. Oh, she, well, come on. No. She's Did you ugly. say she has big jugs? She does. Really? Yeah. And you know this? How? I've seen them. Nude? Are you... No. You, if you, hold on. Did you subscribe to her OnlyFans? My fans. <laughs> 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 no, but if you look at that video where she's on that rooftop dancing... She was in high school. She was, a, she was a minor there. Well, she, she's like 34C back then. I mean, those are nice yeah, little... Yeah, she was a minor. She was she, 14. Oh, come on. For you to I mean, if there's a silver you lining lust on this after cloud, a 14-year-old AOC you've got, is so wrong. You've got Okay, well that's a deal breaker there. You <laughs> wake up with that she's thing not blowing pretty. you in. I'm telling you she's not. She's gross. I hate her. And then you've got uh, a big mouth, you know B- Jen Balsacki, you know, she's she's got a front line on her. She's not unattractive. See that picture, well, yeah, but don't right go there. there. No, don't go there. We're, we're going to be sexist. Right, uh, yellow background. No, we're going to be sexist. See, we, That's we, not we don't need to be doing that. There you go. Click that. Yeah, they're they're Click si- they're sizable. Does it? Can you get bigger picture? <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. You want to zoom in? Oh, that's what I'm talking about, dude. Those are D's. No, yeah, they might be. But we're not. Well, pigs. She would be mortified to hear oh, this. She'd yeah, be like, we you are, are not completely subjectifying me. We're not misogynist. pigs. Yeah, we're not pigs. We're, we're not pigs. We're I know, just but we're simply... commenting on her breast size. We don't need. Is to that be. okay? No, it isn't. Why? It, it is objectifying. Yeah. We're making her an object of sexual desire. I'm not desiring her. Desiring her right you, now. You just want to date her. I do not want to date her. Yeah, according to her, you she, do. Yeah, that's she, why she 
she she thinks Republicans <laughs> hate her because they want to date her. They and want they to can't. date, but they can't. I don't hate her. Do you want? To I her? dislike her train of thought. <laughs> I I dislike the way. Uh, See that look yeah. over there over the bottom left? That's why she's like, yeah, thank you. <laughs> Try again next time. I don't want to talk about the squad or any <laughs> member of the squad. Can we move on? Let's talk about people who had died. Oh, you want to talk about deaths? Yeah. Oh God. Well, let's, we got Saget. We talked about him. Let's do we something a little more uplifting. Saget died in the prone position. Yeah, Bob. No, Sagat. the supine position. Supine. Um, another one is a big one. Is Johnny Fever? Oh, Johnny yeah. Fever. Howard Hespin. I have no idea who that WKRP is. WKRP in Cincinnati. Oh, Johnny Fever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't watch that show, but really? I. But I saw the picture of him and I knew who he was. Yeah. So Johnny Fever croaked. Yeah, that's too bad. I don't know of what, but um, I I've, Ivan else. Reitman. Yeah, he uh, he was the director. Of some significant movie, I Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters, nice. Okay. He was also in Ghostbusters. He was the nerd Ghostbuster. Really? Yes. And that was the one that the secretary was dating. Oh no, I am I am one hundred percent wrong on that. Yeah, no, that I, I was going to say he's that was not that old. Was, that was another guy I was thinking of. No, he's the one. He also directed Animal House. I was okay. One, I was one hundred incorrect on that. So Ivan. So how died. how old was he? Six. Was it I don't a, know. How was it a prime? A, a, was it a premature death? No, I think he was. How old? Oh, was it? You know, that's what we want. You know, when we go through these deaths, we we want them to be dignified. You know, natural. We lived a good life. We don't want it to be like Bob Saget, cancer, or some sort of catastrophic head injury <laughs> that people can't understand. Right. You know what I mean? Right. I I don't know. <coughs> I don't know why. why so, how he, uh, old was Ivan Reichman? Ivan Reich, forty six. So he was, you know, eight seventy six. So seventy six. So that, that 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 begs the question: What is an age where it's too young? Sixties. So anything seventy plus is. I think seven. Yeah. I disagree. Because so, so my, my father in law is seventy two, and I, if he were to pass well, I today, I would be like too young. Well, I think it's individual, right? For one thing. Because you see a lot of people die in their late 60s, early 70s. And just like, well, he I, I was 72. Disagree. And I'm I, thinking, wow, my dad is 78. Yeah, so I don't disagree, but I still think it's too young. That's my point. Like, meaning, meaning if we're somebody, we find out somebody dies and we're like, how old were they? Although they were 68. Oh, man, that's too young. Well, I also think we're closer to that. And it's more... Uh, Realistic to us, we're like shit. I'm yeah, twelve years from that. Starts to I get it. Yeah. I'm twelve years from that. But I think, in my opinion, eighty plus. I think anything in the seventies yeah. to me is still too young. And that sucks because my dad is uh, he's turning eighty this year. Yeah. My well, dad's, yeah. My my both my parents are in their eighties. Yeah, my you know? dad's turning eighty. And my mom's seventy five, and it's it's hard to fathom that you know sitting. I mean, because they don't. Mom doesn't look seventy five, right. and my dad. My dad's turning a corner pretty quick, I think. He's uh, he, he's starting to Aid. exhibit, uh, you know, mental uh, breakdown. He's starting to, yeah. you know, physical. It happens to the best of us, man. It does. And, it you does. know, it, it's just. Um, it doesn't matter how good you take care of yourself. It's you know, happen. taking him to the Genetics doctor takeover. today, and you know, I believe that. And, and you know, and, and I actually enjoy taking him to the doctor because it's it's a one on one time, and, yeah. And he's lucid. You know, we have conversations, and you know, he always asks about the kids, and you know, I give him a spew on everybody, you know, on, on Good. all the facts, and just in, in the quick. Would he be interested in doing this? Uh, I've talked to him about it. He he didn't say no. Um, it would be one of those things where I would need to pick him up and 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 bring. Oh, him that'd back be home. fantastic. You know, make it happen. Ah. Right. Yeah, make it happen. So I will tell you. I will tell you guys this. So my mom, my mom is nonverbal now, right? She does laugh. She knows what's going on. She can hear the conversation. She laughs on cue to funny things. Uh, she's nonverbal though. She so she can't communicate at all really. Um, when she's really frustrated, she'll wail, right? She'll make right. a lot of noise and right. carry on. But and so I, I think to myself, you know, when did that happen? What? When was my last conversation, my last real conversation with my mom, right? right? And I think to myself, man, if I had, what, what, what I would give to have one more real conversation with her, right? 
Yeah. I know when my last one was with my mom. Yeah. I, I, so your mom passed. Yeah, she was 63. That's way too young. Very young. That's nine years from me. Right. Right. From, you know, eight years or ten years for you But guys. she was lucid to the end. I oh, mean, yeah, yeah. She had... Uh, cancer. She had cancer, and it moved to her brain. But I remember my last conversation with her. It was basically us saying goodbye to each other because we knew it was going to be the last time I was going to see her. Wow. It's the hardest thing I've ever done. Oh, for sure. It was terrible. And, see, uh, and, and, and I don't even have, I, I don't remember my last conversation with my mom because she's still here and, she, you know what I mean? And, but but I, don't, I don't, so I have dreams. I have dreams. I know talking about dreams is gay, but I have dreams where I talk to my mom and she's lucid. And in my dream, I go, oh, my God. Like you've gotten better, right. like you're, you're that is fantastic. Like I don't know what happened, but you. And then I wake up the next morning. I'm like, oh, rough. Yep. Yeah, yeah it's, it's rough. rough. Yeah, it's rough. Anyway, so um, I would encourage anybody listening, if you have lucid parents, take every every opportunity you can to just have. I agree with that. 100%. Simple, simple conversations. Simple. Just call them, ask them how their day is going. You yep. know, and, and every time you have a conversation with them, and you know what, by the, that extends to everything. Your kids, every conversation you have with them, be intentional. Remember what it is. It may be the last one you have. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And and that's what the, you, you never kind of... freaking know. No. You never know. No, you don't. Know. <laughs> and that's really hard to do. That it's hard to be that like in the moment and intentional and focused. But uh, it's because well, life is busy. Life is so life, busy. Life is busy, and you almost feel responsible. You keep moving. Feel keep irresponsible going. If, if you don't keep moving. That's right. And it's just like, it, and you know what? It's like a, oh, what is it? it it's like I'm hindering or I'm, I'm putting somebody out if I take the time right. to do this. I don't have time for this right now. I get it. You know, and, and I think that it takes being uh, at this age where you hit your midlife crisis or, you know, or after your midlife crisis, when you start accepting your mortality and you're kind of like, well, this, this is going to fucking end. And I need to yeah. start sowing some oats and I need to f- start figuring shit out now because it, it's called perspective. Yeah. Some people get it early because right. they had an, a moment. They had a life moment. They, they were in a horrible car wreck and somebody yeah. somebody passed away. And so now they have perspective. Right. right, but if you haven't experienced that, and you haven't experienced death, and everything is pretty bitch, you know, hunky dory in your life, and then, and then, like you said, you get swept up in in the river of life and oh, going, man. going, the, going, the rat race, you, and yeah, you don't have perspective. Well, I know my perspective on life changed when my mother got cancer at the age right. of fifty, and that changed my and she broke That's her. That's way she broke too young, hip, and yeah. uh, it, it it impacted her, and she fought cancer for thirteen years before it got her. And it, it changed the way that I look at life. Good. And I try to instill that on my boys, that there's always someone else in worse shape than you are. If you're having a bad day, my mom was always having a worse day than I was. Absolutely. Always. And I try to keep that in perspective. That It's hard, though. Even, even knowing that, it was hard for you, It is. It? I'd still get pissed off, and I'd still be, but then I get over it really quick. Good. Because I think this is, this is nothing compared to... What my mom's going through, or someone else is even worse than my mom. Way, and, way uh, worse. There are people in the world experiencing yeah. way worse. And my problems, yes, Every I'm minute. pissed off at work, or my son just pissed me off because he did something bad at school. Yeah, I need to deal with that, but, you know, in the grand scheme of thing, we're going to get through this, right? right. And uh, um, I'm not saying that I don't get mad or upset or stuff like that, but I try to let it go very, very fast. Yeah. I don't no. let it bog me down. Yeah, we're well, good for you. I mean, that's, I think that's the, the, right, the right perspective to have. And it is really hard. Yeah. But you know what? Um, but but you know what the other thing is, though? Those moments in our life are important, too. Meaning even when you get upset at your kids and you, you have a moment with them that you need to have a teaching moment, all, those things are important, Well, they are. Too. And I still had those. Yeah, they're still important, but, uh, but per- perspective is everything. So. It's, it's perspective and not holding on to things. Yeah. I don't let it bog me down. Agreed. And and I get over things. I know when my wife and I get in an argument, I let it go quick. Yeah. You know, and I'm just like, it's not worth it. You know, it and uh, she she holds on to it for a while, and I understand that, and I let her do her thing, and we'll, we'll eventually come back around. But uh, you know, what, what's fifty? How old? Was, so that was ninety four when she turned fifty. Right. So ever since then, since I was I was twenty five at the time. No. Yeah, twenty five at the time when she got cancer. That's when my my perspective on life kind of changed. Right when that happened, and obviously when she passed away, it it it, it impacted even more. But um, I think it's important to 
Um, you know, and I always tell my boys when when they leave, you know, they they need to be smart and they need to be good and and just you know have fun. But yeah. don't, don't don't let shit bog you down. And when when they have problems, that's what I talk to them about. It's like when you hear stories of people who, um, you know, they're they're in a fight, right? A couple's in a fight, and you know they have harsh words with each other. And as the husband's walking out the door, the wife says. You know what? You just you're never like you're you're so disappointing to me, or something like that. Right. And then he leaves, and he gets in a car wreck and dies. Right. And then the wife goes, "My last words to my husband were, right. you're such a disappointment to me.' Right. And they and it scars them for life. Yep. And they can never forgive themselves for right for that. Yeah. Right. You you do you hear stories like that? Yeah. And uh, it, well, it's, good. It should scar them. Pieces of shit talking to their anybody like that well yeah. i mean come on that's 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 what that's what couples do that's what families do they fight and they say things they don't mean and and then and then something horrible happens and they yeah they regret it, regret it for their whole life so i mean you do i mean it's so hard to do but you have to treat every moment you have with everybody you know as the last moment you could possibly see them right uh, and it's it's impossible though it really is it is it is and, but, and like I said, but you if know, you live your life that way, how were, how awesome would that be? How how nice would you be to everyone? It's just not realistic, though. It isn't realistic. Yeah, you know, I agree. And it's unfortunate because uh, you know we're I'm kind of it's kind of quasi realistic. I mean, everyone has good intentions, but the reality of it is, is fucking life is life. We're humans. You know? We have emotions. And we have anxieties. We, we have move on. depression. I mean, we. We we go day to day. We we see like actors like Meatloaf dying. We got Louis Anderson dying. You got Dan oh, Reeves oh, you gave away, dying. You gave away my next guy. Well, who? Wow. Louis Which Anderson. Louis Anderson died. Spoiler alert! I just I he was the guy that alert. made the fries in Coming to America. I don't know. I just he was a stand up. It was where I kind of knew him from. He he was. He was the guy. He was the guy in and celebrity McDowell's diving. and celebrity high diving. No, in McDowell's, he was making the fries and coming to celebrity. America, was he not? diving? What the hell yes. is that? You don't remember that? No. Yeah, there were celebrities that would, that would do, like, high diving. Uh, and he was one of them. He did, like, cannonballs. So he could Louis Anderson, the Emmy Award winning comedian, died in, at a Las Vegas hospital. How old was he now? Battle with diffuse large B-cell lymphoma. That's cancer. Yeah, it is cancer. It's a version of a non-Hodgkin lymphoma. He yeah. was 68. 53, yeah. 68. That's too young. I'm telling you, it's yeah, too that's young. young. I'm sorry. Anything above, uh, anything younger than 80, I think is too young. Well, that's that's why we need to, people, I mean, um, I, I'm glad, like uh, Taylor in the in the podcast room, you know, he's, uh, besides, he's going to get fucking cancer in the lungs, but with the cigar smoking, but, you know, he doesn't, he doesn't, doesn't drink, um, you know, I think, I think. I guess what I'm getting at is people need to make healthy choices on what the, what they're how they're consuming their life. They do, and you know, us at, included. At, at I this, applaud Taylor because he doesn't drink anymore. Us included. Doesn't drink at, at all. Yeah. At the same time, I don't think you need to live your life that you're going to live forever. You also need to enjoy your life. That's a good point yeah. too. Some people eat thinking that they're going to prolong their life, and then they up dying young, and they're not haven't enjoyed. I want a good steak every now and then. Yeah. yeah. I want a piece of pizza. I don't live on that, but I want like it every now and then. If I go to a breakfast and they ask me which meat I want, I'm like, yes. <laughs> all of them. All yeah. of them. <laughs> all of them. Double of all of them. I didn't say double. And, and the poor lady behind the, the counter is like, what? Did this Why f- would you want that? Yeah, all the meats. Just give it to me, woman. Sir, do you realize yeah. we have ox... Ostrich, mule. <laughs> yeah. Does that include the bison? But, but if you don't eat like that all the time, if you eat sensibly most of the time, you're just like, I want a pizza tonight. All right, do it. But there's a lot of people who will not do that, and they're eating leaves and nuts and shit like that. I'm just like, I'm a, I want to enjoy myself. I, I think that's See, a that's a good goal to to eat like that during you know as as right. routine as possible. Everything but in moderation, right? Right. right. I can see myself on my deathbed going, <laughs> I should have eaten more double Whataburgers. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> more because it wouldn't have mattered. More double Whataburgers because it wouldn't have mattered. It wouldn't have mattered. I wish I was as fucking big as a house. I would have lived maybe six months earlier, and I would have. You never know. It's the the road less traveled. I mean, you just don't freaking know. But you know, you hear about these. You also hear about these people that are like hundred years old. What do you live on? I I eat bacon and eggs every single day. Yeah, I'm okay, smoking I eat a pound of bacon. Okay, let's be I smoke two packs of cigarettes, eat a pound of bacon, and I'm out here, and I'm in the middle of Boston. I'm in the middle of an ice thing. I'm, I'm fishing. I'm eating all my right. stuff here. I'm 105. I'm shoveling my, 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 my sidewalk. 
Right. Yeah. And I'm like, right, so who, but who, really, and then they quit smoking. But here's the thing. And next week they die. And then right. they die. Right. Who, who wants to live to 100 anyway? Let's I be do. real. Let's be real. Do you really? I, I as do. Lo- as, long as, I, uh, as long as I can shit in the toilet and I can feed myself and take care of myself, that's fine. Oh, but as soon so as it's I get about to the quality point, of life. But as soon as I get to the point where I can't walk, can't get around, I'm going to shit myself every time I'm sick. They've got all these I don't cool, live to 105. Uh, different things to, like, for example, like in the showers. Yes. They, uh, they have this, this bristle. Okay. okay, it is. Uh, Whoa. It, Ooh, it's a rectal what cleaner. It, does it spin? What it is? Yes, it does spin. So it's imagine. Um, let me think. Um, uh, so imagine like a, a a very large pine cone, probably pine eight, cone. Pine cone. So it's conical. So no, hold on. Let me, let me rephrase this. Oh, there you so go. imagine. So it's about it's about eight inches in it's diameter. It's conical. Okay, <laughs> conical. So it's it's eight inches in That's diameter and it's got bristles and it's not kind of something like you would look at to that would clean a glass out. All right. Right. And it's it's connected to the shower wall. Yes. It's all right. And it goes up it? and down. Oh. It goes up and down. Oh. So it, it it extends out like two foot. So it's a big deal. And you can lean on it. So when when you, you go can bend it, over. What. If you want, you do. You you spread your legs, and it comes up, and it cleans your undercarriage. And then you you step out, and you you have it come up more, and well, it you cleans want to up do, under your arms. Well, you want to do your undercarriage last, right? You want to do your undercarriage first, and then wipe that all yeah, over your body. Yeah, otherwise you put shit all over your body. Yeah. No, dude. That's what you do last. Okay, well, that's a you very don't do good it first point. And Thank then you. All right. Use very the watch point. rag on your Thank face. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah. My, my point is, plan is that uh, my that wife. was something did you, did you that you is uh, first or last. <laughs> oh, I that did is it something first. they put out. Oh my god! Uh, producer, etiquette. see if you could find some sort of a uh, shower shower cone motor shower brushes conical. motorized shower brushes <laughs> shower conical brushes. So look, this is what they're. This is a uh, <laughs> they they put ass. this like in you um, and your fucking SAT words. <laughs> The conical like shower brush. You don't know what the word conical is? Well, I know what conical is, but no one says stuff <laughs> like that. Some of the cow, the no cattle. No one says stuff like that. It's very <laughs> irritating. It's a word. Why conical say shower it? brush. No, there's no such thing. So when, they, when they're talking about conical, they're talking about like degrees. It's like how many conical degrees does yeah, a no speaker. No one says conical. No one in my whole life has used the word been, conical. It's, it's cone-like. Yeah, I all know right. that we know what it is. <laughs> so this... Uh, uh, right now we're we're pulling up all these different types of bristles, but this one is like a a metal rod that. I think it, you're making this up. I do not see it on the on the screen. I don't no. see any of what you're talking about. I see well, vacuums and dildos. I don't see the word conical either. There's no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. All right, it looks like that, but it's like two foot long and it's, Whoa, it's coming out the wall. Whoa, that's attached to a drill. Type in shower. Did you put a shower? Yeah. Hold on. Motorized Hold on. shower that's brush. A, yeah, well, there, it's that's all there. a butt cleaner attached to a drill. So type A that's goes a, up and down. It's an entirely <laughs> different thing right there. That was a DeWalt, by the way. Oh, DeWalt? Yes. Nice. Yeah, I, I, I think you're making this up, Sean. I think so, too. Hmm. All right, so we're looking at various uh, power cleaning. Uh, shower implements. P- yeah, power shower cleaning tools. I would think that would ruin it because if you're in the shower with your DeWalt, you're going to get it wet. Well, um, I don't know. So the, the whole point of bringing well, yeah, that up, it, it is about point? the quality of life. Did you, did you dream about this? Like an invention no, you that know, you this make? is the thing. This is the thing. Does that lets so, you live to 100 years old? We're no, <laughs> what, we're, we're, we're talking about the quality of life. And if you're able to do certain things to try to help you take care of your body, you know, by, you know, there's certain things you're not able to bend in certain positions to clean yourself. Oh, it you cleans know? it for you. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. So, long story short, yeah. So it goes up and down and you can use it. So as it's going up and down. You you've got control over it. It's and leaning it does the back and you, it your does your front. Whatever. So it's kind of like a loofah, lifting up yeah, your testicles. Yeah, it is. And um, you know, what? it's. I mean, you're letting it get into other parts. So it's like flapping. Yeah. So you're lifting up your testicles oh. and letting it into a certain area. <laughs> well, you don't want to get like, your arms. Because when you're into like your armpits. Well, the thing is, when you're ninety. That shit's so loose down there, could like wrap yeah, around yeah, it. Yeah, that's a good oh, point. Oh god! Oh, it could caught you. Your skin get caught on it. Oh my god! Oh. It starts spinning. You'd be like fucking doing flips in the bathtub <laughs> like, like with your gobble. balls wrapped around that, that thing. That sounds horrible. <laughs> I wonder if anybody's ever show. died. I wonder if anybody died doing that. Well, so the emails goes, yeah, he had his balls cut in the conical. Well, I, I, <laughs> I, conical I didn't actually see cleaner. them do the uh, the cleaning of the undercarriage, <laughs> but. <laughs> it, they definitely had to, they, well, anyway, so it, okay, there's that. Yeah. And what other things, <laughs> being older, I mean, the bed getting Everything up. Everything sucks. Everything sucks. You know, they old. got chairs now that you could basically, they, they help you stand up. My mom had one of those. Okay, well, first off, my parents have, it not a, it's not a live-in caretaker, but 
It's a caretaker that is at my parents' house for 13 hours a day. Like, not a lot of people can afford that. My dad worked for Amoco for 27 years, and uh, he had a fantastic retirement. He doesn't want to spend a penny of it because he thinks it should all go to his kids. I'm like, right. Dad, that's why, you, that's why you saved that money. Right. Like, you need to use it, and you need to be comfortable. He doesn't want to go to assisting living. He doesn't want to go into nursing, a uh, nursing home. And I'm like, then you're in a golden opportunity. You, you can afford to pay somebody 13 hours a day to just sit there and wait for to her to be fed, for, for her to be showered, for her to be put into bed, for her to, right. to, to do mental games and do painting. And we have the most amazing caregiver for my parents, right? And he's blessed. He's a hundred percent blessed to be able to to afford that. Most people, right. most people on the planet can't. Ninety nine point nine 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 can't can't afford that. But my point is, um, it, it, it's all about it's all about uh, quality of life and and who who is there to help you. Right. Most of the time, is family. Like right. fa- you, you, your aging father or your aging parents can live with you, or you live so close that you're over there every day. Um, helping them cook, helping so, them right. clean. So let's say you don't have right? those things. If you don't have, let's those say your things, wife has passed away. Let's say your kids have disowned you. Don't like you. Oh, no, no, I'm not saying that. Let, but you know, it, it's true. Uh, it when, is true. When happens you, all the day, every you, day. When you get to a certain age, the kids just don't come around as no, much. No, they don't. They would rather I mean, put you in a nursing home because you're a pain in the ass. I would not do that. Well, I would not do that. I wouldn't either. But what would you do if you were your dad? And you've been, and you're kind of alone. And would you just like, if you if you know you're going to die, let's say you you've got stage four cancer and you're about to bite it, and you got two months to live, would you just like go on a walkabout? I have no, well, I don't know. What's a walkabout? That's where you just, just you walk go somewhere out the and, die. and die. Well, like I didn't, walk well, out I, into the desert and I, die. I didn't, I didn't say desert. He said desert, but I mean, it's just you go somewhere and okay, you just well, die. Where do you walk then? Uh, well, you, a walkabout to Australia. Are you talking about it's euthanasia? Okay, no, I'm not talking about euthanasia. And you are. Uh, uh, walkabouts originally are, were something that people in Australia do to to go die when when the. Uh, but I'm talking about not Australia. I'm talking about just you know go, just walk, just leave, just leave. You just, not necessarily walk about. You can get in a fucking car, drive. It's called a silver alert. Just go. Well, first of all, nobody does that. Like even even in that. But state, would you want to? Even in that state, neither one of you would do that because. What a horrible way to die! What are you gonna? You're gonna just drive and, and then and then you're gonna park somewhere and then you're gonna starve to death. You know there was a. Do you have any idea how horrible that is? That what terrible. is the the yeah, movie? You wouldn't do that. There's a movie that was on Netflix and and, and uh, Raymond Lamano. Is that his name? Everybody loves Ray. Ray Romano. Ray Romano. Ray Romano. And uh, so Ray Romano was on a show on Netflix, and he uh, was very good friends with another guy. They weren't gay, but they lived together, or they lived across the the hall from each other. They're roommates. And one of them had cancer, and the other one was kind of like, hey, you need to help me die. And the doctors uh, uh, gave him a concoction of uh, chemicals. To, to take where he would could be able to euthanize himself. That's Kevorkian. Yeah. Well, so how do you, how do you guys? I mean, we'll get back to the the Ray Romano thing. But how do you guys feel about that? Do you do you feel like people should die on their own terms with dignity? Yeah, I do. I think I think if that person, I think there's certain criteria that need to be met. That I know I'm dying in a month. I'm in extreme pain. Let me just take the pills. And yeah, it's got to be some sort of terminal scenario. I think there needs. You to can't be, be twenty two and depressed about life. Correct. Yeah, my I, my girlfriend broke up no. with me. I think there needs to be hardcore right. criteria yeah. that says you know the doctor comes back and says you have a month, two months to live or something like that. Okay, yeah. so then you have a pain. doctor. Then you have yes. a doctor that says I allow uh, this. This he person doesn't, is, doesn't allow it, but he sets. A, this he person set, is certified to be able to be. Euthanized. Correct. Says if if they decide, then legally, if if this person wants to, and, and you could do it where I'm, I'm just going to take some sleeping pills and fall asleep. Well, and there's a number of states well, that have legalized euthanasia. So anyway, well, this, right, it's so hard. Back, it's this hard specific, to talk about, though. Yeah. So go back to your this specific movie. movie. Um, first of all, the to buy the concoction of chemicals. 
Uh, I don't remember how much it was, but it was extremely expensive. Yeah, oh boy. Well, and that big fucking pharma. Well, no, just, <laughs> and it was funny because I mean, you can't even you can't even die with he, dignity uh, without just paying take money. A bunch of fucking oxycontin. I'm t- well, no, yeah, right. Well, I mean, but fall asleep. This yeah, one and was, I promise you, you'll feel great until this that was happened. supposedly yeah. super humane. And you know, but the funny thing is that he bought it with a credit card. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to pay that back. You don't have to pay that back. <laughs> Hell so, yeah! But anyway, so. Uh, he they he 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 takes the drink and he dies within a few minutes. I that, mean, that's a hard it discussion puts him to because sleep. because you don't know until you're in that situation, right? I mean, it's one thing to talk about it now to go, yeah, you know, I think that's okay, but you know, if, if uh, your your wife was like that, would you help? Well, I mean, it, again, it's about the quality of life at that point. Or if, if one if of she's your kids came to you and says, if she's in pain, I've got six months to live, Dad. But if she's in pain, can you pain? help me do this? I don't know. That's hard. So let me share. Let me share a story with you guys. A really tough story. I hadn't thought about it in a long time. I had a guy that was reported to me. Okay, and his wife had some sort of ailment where she went downhill quick, right? Very, and and he had to work from home and he had to take care of her and all this kind of stuff, and um, and she wanted to die. Right. She wanted to die. She didn't want to live. And he was devastated. There was a love of his life. And he was like, no, we're going to go to doctor. And they went to Mayo Clinic. And they went to all these places to try to find somebody that could help him. Right. And um, finally, you know, he was like, um, you know, she was at home full time doing her thing, incapacitated, couldn't work. He went to work, came home, and she was dead. And she had set up an apparatus where she had killed herself. And and the doctor, uh, the police came, and they, he was a prime suspect because, right. because they had to prove that he had no hand in her planning of her own suicide, right? And he was devastated. I mean, this guy works for me. He was completely devastated. They they confiscated his laptop, his work laptop. To see if he searched euthanasia to, or whatever. To, to see if he did any searches. Right. And she completely, they, they finally figured out that it was completely on her laptop. She did all the searches for how to do it herself. Right. Um, and she did. She 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 figured out how to put What was a, the method? Uh, she put a bag over her head, and uh, and I forget all the details of it, but... It had to do with suffocation, right? I, th- I think until we're in that situation, you can't effectively answer that. I don't think you can. What? How until, awful! Until, how awful! He comes. Yeah, in, suffocating would be. I don't think that'd be a very fun way to go. Well, she she didn't care. She just wanted to go. I mean, she was in pain and struggling and had a horrible terminal, like not even a terminal. I don't know if it was a terminal disease, but it was disfiguring. I don't remember exactly what it was, mm. but it was awful. It was awful, and she was like, "I don't want to live anymore. I can't do this." Uh, and well, so he came home and found her that way, that's and then terrible. and then he became the prime suspect in her death. Did he get fired? No, absolutely not. No, we didn't <laughs> fire him. <laughs> Hell no. As a matter of fact, we gave him all the time he needed to to talk to lawyers and and let them look at the laptop, and we got him another laptop so that he could work. And he was felt awful that he had to miss all this time. And I was like, "Brother, please." I right. mean, it was it was awful. I mean, he yeah, that's what I mean. I don't think we can effectively answer that. I mean, you could say this one one thing today, but until you're in that situation, until you're the one in that pain, yeah, or you're the one who has that family member in pain, yeah, how yeah. do you answer that? Yeah, because you don't know until you're 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 thrust into it. Yeah, you don't. You really don't. And a lot of times, you think you, you know what you're going to do, and you don't want to be a burden to your family. That's the biggest thing. In fact, um, I had a, a gentleman that that worked um, side by side with me for over a decade. Yeah, and he hung himself, oh, and uh, he had a he had a, a sickness. Um, I forget what disease it was. You would think I, I would know. Uh, Diarrhea. Probably, so, a, probably a little more severe than that. Could have been. No, it was a blood condition with um, like lymphoma, leukemia. Leukemia. Um, I'm trying to think Sickle of the star cell. of the star. Uh, she in the to- Tommy, the from the the Motley Crue. Who's the Tommy? Blink? Tommy Lee. Yeah, he had this disease along with his blonde girlfriend, Pamela Anderson. Yeah. Of the porno. Yeah. What? It, 
you know, um, is a blood disease. Yeah, it was a blood disease, and, and if he goes untreated, it, it, it's a, whatever. Long story short, you know, he um, he ended up hanging himself, you know, because he didn't want anybody taking care of him. He was like, I don't want to be a nuisance to my family. I don't yeah. want to impose on anybody. And you know, the and, you know, and so, I was pissed at him because I was yeah. like, you know, it, it, we were working with each other every day, and every day. and it's like you could see it in his eyes. You know, he'd smile down here, but from up here uh, up, there was like no animation. Yeah. And you know, the I remember the last couple uh, weeks he was alive. We did things that we normally wouldn't do, like um, I I took him to the by Love Field Airport. There's an airport museum, hmm. and we had we'd gone there, and it was like he was like, man, I would have never done this. And I was like, yeah, but we're gonna do it this week. You know, and it's like, you know why? Because we, we need to cheer up. And I made it seem like we, you know, because he was going through some tough times. And, man, fuck, that sucked. Oh, yeah. It sucks to have to work with somebody like that for day in and day out, day in and, and day out. Poof. And to find out they freaking, they, they would they well, hung just themselves. Not there the next day. Yeah. And the thing is, is that this was all premeditated because he had a bunch of envelopes in his car right. uh, written out to people. And he went to his storage unit and... um. And and hung himself. I think I think there are definitely we we definitely have to make a distinction between people that know the reaching end of life, right, and people who are battling depression. That's Correct. the problem. People who are battling depression and and they they're not terminal, right? They're they're technically healthy. Those are the people that like they you can't give up. I mean, you right. you, you got to go get seek help. You got to right. get support. I mean, I mean, you're just going through a rough period. I know you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel, but man, you got you got to get help. Right. Call I, the suicide hotline. I think this is part do, of do, the, do what the you show do. Where, where we need some sort of music to to, to like you know, like some harp music. Uh, just something to kind of like change the spirit. We're kind of like dun, right. So we have we're deep. Dun, we're deep. Dun, 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 we have one more death dun, 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 that may lead into. Let's do one more death, and let's talk about Gilligan's Island because I want to talk about the hottest actress on Gilligan's Island. That's Marianne. Professor. Well, that oh. was easy. Anyway, I was professor. We'll see if you guys Marianne. know, know Marianne, who this is. Down. Ian McDonald. I don't know who that is. Ian you know who, McDonald. Ian McDonald. Do you know who that is? No. You saw him in concert. Oh yeah. He is uh, the founder, one of the founders of Foreigner. Oh shit! Really? Yes. I think he was a piano guy. Do, are you sure we saw him? Are you sure? Well, I don't know. You, you guys saw Foreigner, retire. right? You guys saw Foreigner, right? Well, yeah, I've seen Foreigner twice now. Yeah, but I, don't, I don't remember I don't an old dude with like white hair like that. Well, no, look at him over here on the on the top left. He's nice and young with the well, but flute. I didn't see him back in nineteen sixty seven. Is that a flute? Saxophone. He was actually a saxophone. He played saxophone. I saw something. He played saxophone on. Uh, oh God, I can't name the remember. The, he was also in King Crimson. But anyway, he started uh, 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 Foreigner. I can't. Remember. I don't know who the other. That's brilliant. So, how old was he? I don't know. All right, we gotta let's, look at. Let's see how old he is. I always want McDonald to feel is. better about their age. All right, here 46. we go. Forty-six. So he was seventy-four. No, that's too young. I'm not happy with that. Well, unfortunately, it's that's that. <laughs> how about Norm Macdonald? He he didn't he, he is playing done? a flute. He is a flautist. A flautist. So funny about Norm Macdonald is, uh, you know, lots of people, including myself. Uh, I mean, his he's funny, but he's got a, a kind of an annoying funny. What's his you voice? Know? I think it's kind of nasally, kind of. He, well, it's not so much that. Did he it's, pass away. It's, oh yeah, yeah. Last it, year. It's more like uh, last year. It's like, dude, get to the fucking 21. point. When he would like tell a story, it's kind of like you know, hey, and he's got this goofy smile, and he's like, so you know, uh, I was uh, working at the uh, the bar the other day, and this guy comes in, and he's he's talking. To this, he goes through these jokes, and it's just you know, but he's he, the one that did Burt Reynolds. Every, yes. On SNL. Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah, so he he's great. funny, but he's funny. some of his. He, 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 what did he die of? Uh, I don't know. Rochcockism. Really? No, I don't. I don't remember. Norm exactly McDonald. What. Norm McDonald. How did Norm McDonald die? He didn't have the conical loofah to clean the rochcock off. Is that what it was? Yeah. So it was like taintitis. <laughs> it could be taintitis. He died of taintitis. Taintinitis. Taintinitis. No, it's it's. Uh, uh, Norm, Norm McDonald. Well, well, I also think it's interesting that these bands that we grew up with, well, Foreigner, he died of cancer. that Foreigner. Fuck, man. 61 cancer. People are uh, dying, right? Hate Pe- it. 
people people that we grew up with listening to they're all dying watching they're they're starting to die you know i know i feel you know tom uh, petty the Tom Petty, the drummer for the Rolling Stones. I wasn't a Rolling Stones fan, but oh, dude, he was like 111. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was old anyway. But you know, there's folks just I know dying. They're do- they're dropping Eddie Van Halen. Yeah, Eddie Van Halen. You know, he had the cancer, throat cancer from from he says from the metal picks. Yeah, because he because he kept them in his mouth. He kept them in his you mouth. You guys told me that. I didn't know that. Yeah. So that's what he said. Yeah. And he said the cancer started literally on the side of his mouth, underneath his tongue, where he kept the metal picks. And he was like, I know, I, I have no doubt in my mind, it's from the metal picks. I was like, wow. Like, was it from the cigarette that he would smoke? That's, I mean, seriously, what, what are the odds? Oh, where, I know, yeah, I know. Right, where he keeps the pick. I, I don't know. Right. I don't know, but, but the, it's, it's, it's unfortunate that uh, we're getting to the age that that's happening, right? And uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. It really is. I looked at, uh, I was looking at the comedian Norm MacDonald dies at 61 from BBC, and I'm like, What? There you go. That's BBC News. BBC News. Yeah, but I was looking at BBC it. is cancer though. Died from big black. Mm-mm. Oh, that's BBD. Oh, but I was thinking big his black is, cock. His no, name is yeah. Wood. No, it's BBD. But I mean, if you if because we got to scan over the stuff. By quick. the way, he uh, ma- he made a resurgence lately. Where where did I see? You know, so once again, somebody sent. Oh, it, <laughs> well, it was the COVID it. test. Yeah, you. I didn't oh, even see yeah, it. Oh, yeah. You sent that. So you completely, I completely missed miss that. It. Yeah, I didn't zoom in. And like, I even tried to be like, you know, is that one line or two lines? Because so that you would zoom in. Yeah, I didn't. And zoom sure in. enough, there was BBD. Yeah. There he was, right once there I, on the COVID once I test. zoomed in, I saw it. But see, I didn't, I'm yeah. glad I didn't forward that to my boss and be like, hey, look, I got COVID. This is my test. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, what? I'm taking no. off for the next four days. But I still, the best to this day. I mean, they got so clever with that BBD thing. But the best one I've ever seen was, uh, oh, my God, we have a major storm front coming. The cloud? And he <laughs> and he's, he starts, like, coming, like, yeah, he starts, like, coming across. One the, of the best ones the I radar. saw. Oh one of the best God. ones I saw was the remote uh, NFL draft. When they had all the oh, fans the little, in the zoo, little avatar icons. Yeah, he was in one of the videos. He was one of the cameras. I liked it when he was sitting on George Floyd. Oh, oh a day that's, after that's that hard. happened, that was too hard. Too, too, yeah, too raw. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, I know you don't, but you're insensitive like that. You know what? The dude was a thug. I know he was. He was a criminal. He was all kinds of it looked horrible awful, things. It still looked awful. Yeah. Did Paul McDonald play the commercials as Colonel Sanders? Yes. Didn't he do that for a, yes. a spell? Yeah, he did. Yes, he did. All right, so this is a left turn. All right, we only have a, a couple of minutes left. I want to. Yeah, I, I'm out of dead people. Yeah, we're done with the dead people. Um, yeah, we hottest, need to try to pick some funnier dead people. Yeah, let's pick the hottest actresses. I can only give what they have. The hottest actresses in their time. In their time. Raquel Welch. Okay. Sophia Loren. Bo Derek. Bo Derek. I'm going to go with Natalie Wood. Natalie Wood. Farrah Fawcett. I'm going to go with uh, who's Gidget? That's Sally Fields. Sally Fields. I'm going to go with Sally Fields. Kate Jackson. Cheryl Ladd. I'm just going to name all the Charlie's Angels. No shit. Yeah. But you didn't do. You uh, didn't do the, the, the my favorite. What, Farrah Jackson. Fawcett? Angela. No, what? Uh, who's Kelly? Uh, Kelly, uh, Kate Jackson, and oh, my favorite, Jacqueline Smith. Jacqueline yes, Smith. Jacqueline yeah, Smith. Yeah, oh. she was beautiful. Yeah, she was hot. Yeah, crazy hot. Linda Carter, Wonder Woman, the original. Oh, dude, she was she was incredible. She never really did that for me. Look up Linda Carter. She'd make my catalog. Movies. Really? I I wouldn't. I, okay, time out. I wouldn't kick her out of my bed as a single young man, but. What, 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 you, no, you wouldn't kick her out, but you kick LC. Please. Yes, I would. Look at that. Oh yeah, beautiful. Linda Carter is actually a really good singer now. How about is she Maria? Really? How good about for her. Maria Osmond? Yeah, she was very pretty. pretty too. Pretty. Although she did have wide crotch. Look at that one woman shot down there. She had very wide, like square crotch. Yeah. Well, I'm going to say one that's controversial. Are you ready for this one? Hillary Clinton. No. <laughs> <laughs> No, nope. who's uh, and, and Meryl I, Streep? No, Nancy Pelosi. Of, no, the one that was on the freaking anti-aircraft gun. And 
Jane Who? Fonda. Helen, Jane Fonda. Helen Reddy. Dude, Jane Fonda in, oh, I don't know what movie it was. Barbarossa. Barbi- Bar- yes. Wow. Yeah, Jane wow. Fonda was hot. Wow, wow. Like crazy hot. Yeah, Barbarossa. Look up Jane Fonda, Barbarossa. Yes. I mean... And then you said uh, you said Gilligan's Island. Barbarella, Island. that's what it is. Barbarella, yeah. You, yeah. Oh, she's doing the deep strike pose there. That that's not the deep strike. Oh my goodness! <laughs> that, 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 that's the that's crazy, that's a side right? Saddle. Oh God! How do we forget blonde br- bombshell? What? <coughs> blonde bombshell? I've never heard of that. You don't know who a blonde bombshell is? Uh, Suzanne Summers? No. Uh, a skirt that Dolly got blown Parton? up. Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn oh, Monroe. Please. I tell you wow. who. I tell you. Oh God, what was her name? Uh, who was at the breakfast at Tiffany's? Audrey Hepburn. I, I'm sure she was beautiful. There were so many beautiful women back then. Yeah. Oh, look, look at look at that. Yeah. Look up Audrey. Look at Marilyn Hepburn. Monroe. She was she was an all she was curvy. Oh my goodness. She wasn't skinny. How about Bo, how about Goldie Hawn? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No. I would say she was hot, young. Look up Audrey Hepburn. Audrey Hepburn. She was back in the, what, 60s? Oh, yeah. Big time in the 60s. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she's oh, pretty. Oh, for sure. Wow. Very pretty. Oh, take... What about, uh, what's her name? Elizabeth? Uh... Taylor. Taylor. Liz Taylor. Yeah, she, she didn't pretty... really do it for me. Oh, back when she was no, younger? No, no, no. Bring up the young stuff. Yeah, Liz when she Taylor. was younger in her 20s, 30s, she was, she was pretty. Bring up Elizabeth Taylor. Yeah. There's, you can't deny the beauty. Oh yeah, yeah. When she was older, she was she did not appeal. But back in the day, well, you that know, was the fifties, uh, wasn't it? Oh yeah, yeah. It's crazy how most of these women, um, gorgeous. You know, you got to think about it. What about these these women that were beautiful back then, and they had to get all how, how many. Uh, Weinstein's did they have back then? Uh, all of them. I'm sure. Every single one of them had to deal with the Weinstein. Well, Liz every t- single well, one of Liz them. Because back did. then it was okay to smack your secretary on the ass. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. I mean, then it was. I mean, where did it stop? It, um, it didn't. I'll tell you one that. How you doing, uh, Jane? You want uh, to you you be in the next movie? Why don't you come over here? Yeah, they all had that New York, New L- Jersey. Bring up Natalie Wood. I just want to see. I want to Good see. Lord, what are you? Oh, Natalie are you trying Wood, to get worked up for honestly, some reason? Honestly, honestly, if I were to pick the hottest actress from that era, I would pick Natalie Wood. Stunningly gorgeous. She doesn't float. No, she doesn't. You know, one of the one of the wow. ladies that I always wow. thought that was really that I thought was really really pretty pretty was uh, Grace Kelly. I need to Remember see a picture. Her? Yeah, I don't know. I thought she was. Uh, Grace Kelly, right there. Grace uh, she Kelly. died. Um, I always oh, thought yeah. she was very, Beautiful. very pretty. Was there a black lady called Grace Kelly? No. Um, she she became a a princess. Are you sure? Because she married the um, what's the big gambling thing over there in the Mediterranean? It's a very small country. Halle Berry. Beyonce. Oh, Halle Berry's beautiful. Halle Berry is stunning. Yeah, you know, Beyonce doesn't do it for me. And Beyonce, I, well, in, in... Unfortunately, a lot of it is emotionally driven because I don't like her attitude. Yeah, but in the movie, um, like, what Littlefinger or Goldfinger or the, the stupid... Beyonce was in that movie. Yeah. And she was beautiful. There's, um... Monaco. Chris Kelly married uh, the, the Prince of Monaco. Prince of Monaco. Yes. Uh, what so, other African-American actresses can we think of? Uh, there's a who's the 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 late the there's Grace a, Jones there's did a not work for me. Black no. lady singer who got beat up by her boyfriend, Chris something. Aretha Franklin. No, no not Ike Whitney and Tina. Houston? I'm talking about a younger one. Um, Tina just, Turner. No, this older, older. Like I mean, she's newer. Uh, is it Chris? Someone Chris the, the beat Chris up Brown. Yeah, Chris Brown beat Whitney up Whitney Houston. Rihanna. Rihanna. Oh, Rihanna. Yeah, she's beautiful. Yeah, Rihanna's beautiful. Halle Berry Whitney Houston is was got, beautiful. Halle Berry's got to be close to the top. Do you know whose daughter is stunningly gorgeous? Is Jamie Foxx. All right, this is creepy. Yeah. No, not creepy. Look she's, up Jamie. Look okay. at Rihanna. She's, no, she's, she's look 11. Look up Jamie Foxx's daughter. She's 11. No, <laughs> she's actually 14. <laughs> oh, jeez. No, look, look her up. Because she, I think she's 
Yeah, gorgeous. How old is she? She's stunning. All right, this Duke, uh, Dude's Wait, Like on. Us no, we're podcast not. No, we're not doing is that yet. Uh, brought to you by... 94. How old is that? Old Folks Living. She's 28. You there want we a good go. place to put your parents for dying, put them in oldfolkshomes.com. Yeah, this was an uplifting episode. You know what? We, we touched some real stuff, though. But I think it was it was realistic. It was realistic, and we talked about some, some cool things as well. Uh, Euthanasia. We talked about, uh, we talked about conical the cleaning the agents. Taint. Yeah. Lufas. Here. Taint, taint what? Conical the fact taint that lufas. you can't accept that AOC is... Fine, she's attractive, but I still would kick her out of my bed. I, as soon as she Jeez. says... I I think I don't think you're climate what if, change... What if she didn't say anything? What if she said, she yes, would, master? She would criticize and critique everything. If I say prone? Oh, supine. No, I'm supine. No, I just say prone. That way, I, that way I don't have to look at her. <laughs> oh, well, that's what the bag's for. Wow. Dudes like us, uh, soon to be dot com. You guys, um, I'm Sean. I'm Paul. And I'm Jeff. Uh, good night. Good night. It's the last one of February, or do we have one more? Oh, no. Oh, no, it might be. I'm off the next two weeks.